What's up, Pacific Fishing YouTube channel? Sam here, and today I'm on Landon's boat with Landon. And we're going out of Mission Bay to do some rocky fishing. We're gonna be searching for some structure out there. And then it's gonna get a little windy, so we're gonna come back in off by the jetty and do some bay bass fishing and whatever we can catch. Let's get to it. Big one, huge one. Grab him, Sim. Actually, I'll got him. Here you go. Yeah, oh boy. Do it live. <laughs> Solid one. Oh, shit. Get that giant Rocky. On the jig. Oh, yeah. On the red crab hookup bait. Let's go. Let's go. That thing's huge. This thing is huge. <laughs> That's a big boy. It's a tough I was right away. Yeah, on the double hookup bait rig, 1.5 ounce red crab. That isn't the first time I've gotten a big rock fish on these red crab double rig here. Alright, let's lay this guy on the deck and keep fishing. 200 feet, no fish finder. Use a Navionics to see where the contour lines are closer so when the depth changes. About two miles off. Fishing Bay Jetty right now in San Diego. Code red. Her right on ice. All right, guys, we came out to about 210 feet. This is some hard bottom on the spot on Navionics. Yeah, see if we can jig up some more rockfish here. Same rigs. We just wait till we get down there. Am I down? Thank you. 
Oh my gosh, what is that? What the? That's a, it's got like yellow all around it. <laughs> Look at that, guys. That's a weird looking fish. Get off me. Freak. Alright guys, the camera died, but just caught this tree fish on the jobber loop. Alright, this is the tree fish I caught. Cool fish. Big because I'm fishing with a little rod, but it's not Ooh. actually that big. Oh, you get some edge in that, that rod. Fishing with the bay with the bay bass rod. He might actually be okay to be honest. I marked it so we can go right back to that spot. It's the biggest fish this rod's ever caught. Oh. oh, it's taking drag. <laughs> what is this? Don't let it step on. This be a huge fish. Bro, it just took drag. It went straight down. Oh, I think it's a white fish. Oh, yeah, it looks like a white fish. White fish. Keeper. I'll take it. You know your rod's light when a fish that big's taking drag on you. <laughs> hey, that'll keep. We got a good little haul of fish, and yeah, not too bad of a day. A few tree fish, rock fish, white fish, a little bit of a variety. Yeah. That's not a bad sized tree fish. It's just that big rocky makes it look so small. <laughs> Not a bad little hole. One more in there. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Alright. Alright guys, we're back in the bay and we're gonna clean up these fish so we can throw the guts and remains right back in the water here. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this medium-sized tree fish first. I'm gonna show you kind of how I do it. First cut is right behind the gill plate there. Try not to lose as much meat as you can. Depending on the fish and how sharp a knife I have, I'll either go straight down or I'll do what I'm doing now and just make an initial cut. And then once I get near the tail, put that knife straight through. Keep it angled down so you don't leave any meat on the bone. And then once I get to that, I go ahead and cut them. And this knife isn't exactly sharp, but 
does the job. Straight to the rib cage. There's your filet. And then I skin it, and that's ready for a taco. So, as you can see, there's a little bit of meat still in the bones, but not much. Did the best I could with a not so sharp knife. Straight back in the water for birds, sharks, rays, whatever. I always like to start out with like, not the smallest, but not the biggest fish to kind of get warmed up almost. And then I go in with the biggest fish next, which is this big boy. Same thing, same technique, just bigger. Uses the least amount of meat you can. Go right up under here. Hey guys, we got two pretty solid bags of rockfish, and now we're gonna go cook them up. Thank you.